why I failed my assessment test three times. So, hi guys, welcome back to our channel. So, the sole purpose of sharing my driving experience to everybody just to help those people who doesn't know what to expect when you try to get your um, license in Dubai. I'm really, really, really happy to get a lot of positive comments from a lot of people. I'm so happy to hear that I'm helping you out. And to those that giving me a thumbs down, <laughs> probably you have a different experience if you think that i miss anything or you know you wanted to share something else please leave them in the comment section down below so we can help each other reach other people so i'm sure that you have your own perspective please leave them in the comment section down below i'm going to pin that for all the other viewers that are going to see my video yes okay so let's start Assessment tests are done primarily by the school um, test officers or test examiners. So this is completely out of RTA. So I wish it would be RTA, you know, at some point because I feel that my RTA exam was way easier than my assessment test. Okay, my first assessment test, why I failed because of two major reasons. I have two immediate fails actually and have like 19 minor mistakes so I'm entering the roundabout and then I saw one car came you know in the other side of the exit which is opposite my exit which he's gonna take quite some time before he reached me so he went in and I went out and then the examiner gave me an automatic fail because he said that the roundabout should be clear before you enter yeah that's one thing that they really wanted you to do make sure that the roundabout is completely zero but actually in real life if you wait for the roundabout to be like zero maybe you're gonna stay there waiting i don't know maybe half day <laughs> the second immediate fail that i got when the assessment officer takes you for your assessment test you have to expect that he's gonna take you somewhere where the students don't normally you know practice so that's where he took me I, by chance because it's you know it's exiting the small street so I'm entering the bigger one and I didn't see see that there is a solid white line and a stop sign under the tree so somehow the stop sign is not very visible for me actually I stopped but I went over the stop line like because I need to see the cars on my left if they are coming so if I don't move forward a little bit I would not be able to see them because there are like trees so but then he said it's a solid line and you should not cross the solid line so I got an immediate fail for that and then I got like some 19 minor mistakes so figure that out <laughs> that's why I failed in my first assessment test so the first test I was expecting to fail anyway it's not really like a big thing for me uh, you know I wasn't really hurt and I was prepared for that anyway so I said okay anyway the next time I'm gonna know what to do so when you fail your assessment test take note that you're gonna take another eight classes before you can schedule your next assessment test my second assessment test day came and I was all prepared and I'm thinking I'm not gonna fail this test and you know things like that so this time he asked me in a 60 to 80 road but there is like let's say around 500 meters um, distance between um, the last signal to the next signal so I was thinking you really cannot accelerate a lot during this time because like there are a lot of cars he told me that I wasn't following the road speed limit and you cannot just accelerate because you have to see if there are a lot of cars and you have you know to know whether the road is safe or not and I was like okay I cannot accelerate with cars in front and behind me and just I cannot reason with them so I said okay fine we did a u-turn again and then he doesn't like how I make the u-turn what my instructor told me that when you make a u-turn and you can use always the last lane on your right but the officer asked me to be in the middle lane so you know like I get confused because I was practicing already on the last lane and then suddenly he asked me to be in the middle lane so the second time I failed the assessment test I was quite anxious already and, you know but I still I didn't make any fuss about it I said okay maybe I need to do more practice I was still you know cool about it though I'm a little bit 
angry already because I felt that I shouldn't fail and I have like I think nine minor mistakes which is not really a lot you know I didn't argue at that time because I said I don't want them to you know like point at me or give me a hard time because I'm arguing or making problems for them so I just you know accepted it and even though I'm angry I just paid the next eight classes and then took the eight classes and I told my instructor you're not teaching me everything I was fighting with my instructor that time because I was really angry and I cannot you know like really have this confrontation with the test officer because I don't want him to have that eye on me and you know like fail me every time so I said okay that's, that's, that's okay. I scheduled my third assessment test. Good thing it's a different examiners already. So they changed the examiner on my third um, assessment test. This guy, I didn't see him writing on my paper. Not really saying a lot of things, but he kept telling me that speed for, you know, changing lane from this signal to the next signal. I didn't see him write anything. Probably he just checked some minor mistakes and that's it. And then when we went back to the school and he told me I failed, then that time I really really burst already and I told him okay what why you failed me what was my mistake and then he was like okay if you drive like this if you take your RTA you're gonna fail as well and then I was like okay but tell me what is my mistake I mean what did I do wrong show me in the paper and he cannot show me in the paper because he didn't write anything I was really angry at that point I feel that I should pass already because I didn't really make big mistakes I spoke with the manager and really I made very big complaint. I told him if I'm supposed to fail, if there are mistakes I committed, I'm okay to fail. Not because you think I should fail. That is not fair. What he told me, um, because I was really furious at the time and really nobody can settle me. Even the manager keeps saying that, you know, it's the examiner decision. And I told him, no, I'm not gonna accept it. And then the examiner told me, okay, just get your eight classes because I don't know, maybe he put it already in the system or something like that. Just pay the eight classes and I'm gonna give you a pass. I was actually really, you know, but I didn't question anyway. And then I said, okay. I'll pay after the eight classes because I still have to schedule the eight classes and then on my assessment day I went there and then he just put a stamp says I pass already but that's really how my story went I have now top uh, five tips <laughs> which I learned from this experience from which probably you guys can learn as well top tip number one I think that if you know the road so well like for example if you have the instructor with you and you're practicing anyway make sure that he takes you to every single corner of the road so that you don't get surprised when the examiner takes you somewhere else that you don't know so make sure that you circle around every single corner of the place where you're practicing just, and make sure that you know every sign so you don't just get confused or you don't get surprised secondly i really highly recommend that you do observe the traffic signs because they're really really particular about observing traffic signs like make sure that you don't enter the wrong way because there are some roads which is one okay, way as i mentioned in the roundabout make sure that the roundabout is clear before you enter because that's really what they want this is really crucial number four parking in and out you have to practice parking in and parking out with your yeah, instructor before you take your assessment test because oh, it's not gonna be the same when you're outside parking in is normally front first not back first of how you park in the garage parking it could be a garage parking but you don't have to park backwards so you can just go ahead and park with your face I mean with the <laughs> not your face with the face of the car another trick is that if your car is on the right if you're on the right side and you have a lot of parking space try to choose the one on the left side because then you have a lot of space you know to maneuver and make sure that you do the right you know left turn correctly and make sure that you don't forget your signals as well so the last tip that i wanted to share with you guys is very 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 important if you fail your assessment test make sure that you know the reasons why you fail ask the examiner demand for answers like seriously what else could go worse i mean you failed already I mean, you might as well know what is the reason why you failed so that you can you know work around with that when you take your eight classes and you can practice more they're not gonna eat you so just ask 
please just ask why you failed okay so i hope you guys enjoyed this video and i hope it was really helpful leave me in the comment section where you at in your driving or what videos you'd like me to do to help you more and if you haven't subscribed please do so so you get notifications whenever we upload new videos and thank you so much again guys for watching you have a good day bye